All right, what the fresh heck is going on here, ladies and gents? I'm DVC. Welcome back to another TLC4 idea video. This time we're ch checking out the aberration creatures. Now, I ended up actually having. I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Actually, I'm. I actually scrapped the the third creature for this one because honestly, these two creatures that I've selected are the only ones I really have any good ideas for. The other one, uh, I. Tried to think of something for the Karkinos or even the uh, Reapers. But I really just, I couldn't, the ideas were just blank. So, like, the Ravager, honestly, for me is fine. All the other creatures are fine. I don't really, I didn't really have many ideas for it, except for maybe these two creatures that we're going to discuss in this video. Now, if you guys have any ideas for the, uh, some other creatures, or you want to tack on something to these ideas, do let me know, like... The Karkinos right now, as you guys saw, can grab things and all that kind of stuff. It's fine. But if you guys have any ideas for the other aberration creatures specifically, do let me know. But without further ado, we're just going to jump right into this guy, have a quick dialogue about it. And uh, yeah, here we go with the first aberration creature. Okay, first up, the Basilisk. Now... This creature is already really, really cool, um, and I think you can do a lot more with it now. I actually ended up having to use Crystal Isles instead of Aberration on my single player for the two creatures involved in this video, mostly because I kept blue screening out and that was getting annoying for, for you know, the single player, so I decided to just go ahead and use Crystal Isles, and also considering the Basilisk already spawns on this map anyway, I figured, ah, what the heck. Might as well. So, the Basilisk already, in-game, is a very, very terrifying presence. You know, it's, it has its poison spitball, it's got, you know, different, uh, it can tunnel underground, it swims decently, um, and overall, it's a really cool creature. It has very fun abilities, it's taming method, while it is kind of annoying because it's basically feeding and ending, the taming process for this creature is very, very annoying. So, whilst this is a, um, it's a passive tame, but it's very, it gets very, very angry very, very easily, so I have an idea for a new taming method, which as well as a new ability, so that would also make this thing a knockout artist. Now, the current taming method is that you, uh, to tame one, the player must use a fertilized rock drake egg on aberration or magmasaur egg for Genesis. Now, as magma rock drakes are currently not breedable, you know, you would have to already have these on either one on hand. So, I think... For one, also, for one, I would love for these things to be breedable. Just kind of of a side note, because... And also rock drakes. Can rock drakes be breedable? Please. But also, the taming method is you got to basically drop an egg and peace out. And it, it will, you know, the basilisk attacks the egg, and, you know, that's how you then tame it. But I think a more interesting taming method would be really, really good. Now, here's an idea. This is a giant snake. Now, more often than not, in reality, a, a snake will often sniff out its its uh, prey item and kind of just go over to it very slowly. And if you've seen a lot of snake related channels like Chandler's Wildlife, hashtag not, not, not a plug, um, you know that a lot of the snakes, when he feeds them, you know, he kind of has them moving around and the snake will then bite onto the prey item and wrap around. Some snakes do this. I think the Basilisk should totally be able to do this. Now, that whole A taming method, you can keep it for the Titanoboa, but for the Basilisk, I think if you can, you should be able to put a creature on Wander, obviously on passive, and now if this thing has enough health, it should be able to survive this, or if it gets knocked out, same. Perfect. Now, the Basilisk, you know, depending on what size the creature is, maybe it's, you know, if it's a Shrike or a Stego, the Basilisk will pin and roll around your tame, like a constrictor, and it will then squeeze and bite onto your tame, much like the Trudon, how you basically have to offer up a creature to it and it tames. 
basically same difference, except it's terrifying because it's a giant snake. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the, the basilisk would then bite onto your creature, and then it would continuously bite until, you know, it eventually tames. So this is this is like a terrifying marriage between the true non-taming method and also the, the uh, bloodstalker. And basically, it's just, you know, basically biting into you over and over again until it, you know, tames. It's the same thing here. I think that would be really, really cool and really, really terrifying. And that would be a new taming method for it. Now, as far as actually using it, it's fine. The poison spitball is good. You know, if you're able to specific target it, much like the poison wyvern, like I said in the last video, check it out if you haven't. But this thing should also be able to knock out creatures, basically with the same method. Now, how you would do it is you tunnel underground, much like it is on the, on the thing, and you get a little locator. So you're able to look around, and if there's a wild creature near you, now I would say the biggest you can be able to you would be able to do this with is probably the Diplodocus that was just on screen. There is a little locator that will pop up on screen as you look around while you're in the ground, because you know creatures can't really see you because you're on you're underground anyway. So obvious, and also obviously you would want like some kind of scuba tank on. Just saying. So it's the same thing. So you would then use the same taming method to then knock out creatures. Because, you know, why not? You're basically doing the same thing when you're taming it, so why not be able to do this when you're, when you're, uh, you know, it's actually, you know, tamed already. You know, the animations are already there, so why not, you know? It, it would be really, really terrifying, and also you could scare the crap out of uh, players with that. Now, obviously this wouldn't work for players, but, um, you know, the, obviously you have two options. You can, when, when you do this, you know, coil around, you shoot out, you coil around, you have two options. You can kill it. You can kill the thing that is in your, I guess, body. I guess because you know you can't really have it, it, there's no arms or legs or anything. But you can either knock out the creature, or you can then kill it because you're already constricted around. And you know, basically, if you just alt fire on it, you would then you know, bam, you know, it's knocked out or killed. Now, I think that would be really, really cool. You know, just a couple of ideas other than scale update, because, you know, the fact that it has eyeballs is really, really good, as I said before. But, yeah, yeah, that's kind of my ideas for, you know, players, and also the spitball, yeah, locator, uh, targeting spitball, new abilities for knocking, uh, taming, and also using it. It would be really, really cool. Um, if you have any ideas, it can make the Basilisk even scarier or even cooler, do let me know in the comment section. And that's all I really got for this creature. And here we go with the next creature on the docket for this video. Let's do this. Alright, the Rock Drake. Now, this thing is already quite cool. The, the traveling, the fast travel ability, or whatever you want to call it. I guess the super jump. Whatever you want to call it is quite clean. I don't really have any problems with that. But updated scales and feathers would be really, really good. So like, like the Velocir or like the U Velociraptor, like the Raptors in game already. You know the head feather is uh, on the Raptor, and you know the on the arms and legs and everywhere, everywhere, well, everywhere that the Raptor has feathers would look really good on the Rock Drake. I think now, right now in game, as you guys are looking. I think that these these feathers don't even feel like they're a part of the body. I feel like they kind of just they feel like they're kind of pasted on. Like there's nothing to have it kind of flow into the body in any way. It kind of just looks like it's just kind of glued on. It doesn't feel natural. So you know maybe something akin to the raptors. You know make it make it flow a lot better. You know maybe pronounce the scales much like the say um, like the the uh, Spinosaurus, you know, I think that would be really, really good. And plus, I think as well, even like on the um, those little pink bits on the um, arms, that just feels like it's kind of just been painted on there. So like some kind of update to make it look, you know, a little more, more decent would be good. And you know, as far as new abilities or slight changes to that, other than you know making these things breedable, much like you did for the. Uh, we've got for the wyverns you know slight nerf to the stats and all that kind of stuff 
honestly, I haven't really paid much attention to it other than that, but, you know, cool. You know, give it the same balancing that you did for the wyverns. Make them breedable. I would absolutely love to breed rock drakes. I really would. That would be really, really cool, actually. But, um... As far as anything else, um, the head feathers. Now, the head feathers on a rock drake will stand up whenever a reaper is around, and you know it's kind of it's kind of splayed open like a fan, and that's it. You know, there's no stat boosting, like you know, there's no damage resistance or anything like that. And I think something akin to the rivalry buff, like with the trike, would be really really good. You know, because right now it's just there's just a visual thing where the 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 head turns like a double-sided fan or, or something, and that's it. Like, it's just a visual change. Like, there's no there's no resistance or anything like that. I think that would be really cool if you could, you, you know, have damage resistance when, to Reapers and all that kind of stuff. That'd be clean. I would love that. And as far as the invisibility is concerned, I think you should absolutely be able to just hide from creatures, even if they've uh, locked onto you already. Because, let's be real here, invisibility would be ten times cooler if you could actually hide from the creatures that you're, well, trying to hide from. Really, though. I mean, th just think about it for a second. You know, you're low health, you're on your rock drake, it's low health, and you're trying to get away from, like, a like a, a giga or something. Why, not why you would have a rock drake around a giga? Yeah, I don't know. But let's say, you know, hey, I need to get out of here, you know, you're, uh... You're out of darts or whatever. The Giga's on your tail. And you just turn invisible. The Giga stops. And is unable to find you. Why? Because you turned invisible. Now. It would be clean. It would definitely be clutch. I know I would definitely use something like that. If I absolutely could. And no, really though. What would it hurt? You know the invisibility should absolutely work. Now that's an extreme example. But. Let's be honest. Invisibility is a joke. Cause if let's be honest, if you're all if you're already if something's already aggroed to you, and you're turning invisible, what's the point of actually turning invisible? You know, what? you're you're not actually going to be able to go anywhere or do anything. You're not going to be able to avoid any creatures. So the invisibility getting some a uh, buff would be really really good. And you know that's all I really got for the rock drake. You know, a buff to the invisibility and make. So, you know, as soon as, you know, you turn invisible, creatures will lose aggro. And, you know, scaling update, sc updates to the scales, you know, updates to, uh, even, you know, everything else. I think that would be really, really good. Now, as far as, you know, would that break the game? I don't think so. You know, and of course, this would only work really with wild creatures. I suppose it could work with, um... You know, creatures that are targeted to you, like in, P in a PvP scenario, I guess it could work, but maybe not as well. Now, if if there's a way you can make the, you can balance that, make it look good, then by all means. But uh, yeah, that's all I really got for it. And if you guys have any other ideas for Rock Drakes or even the, the Basilisk, do let me know. And if you guys did enjoy the video, do not forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And of course, I'll be seeing you all next time. And if you have also any other ideas for other aberration creatures, do let me know in the comment section below. Have a good one.